just start this off by saying that I absolutely adore The Secret of Nim. Not only do I consider it Don Bluth's magnum opus, but this is among one of the greatest animated features there is. It really is that good. The animation is on the level of master craftsmanship. It is beautifully well written. It is highly intelligent. It is action packed, filled with heartwarming and lovable characters. Just everything about that movie absolutely works. And I would go and say that it really is an underrated animated film. But I'm starting to notice that this may not be the case. Thanks to the popularity that it's getting on the internet, it's slowly but surely starting to grow its popularity that it deserves, somewhere around in the same levels like how the Iron Giant did. So it's hard to say nowadays if The Secret of Nim really is underrated. But um, like for those who do appreciate it, they really, really do. So like it is starting to really find its audience. But unfortunately now, I'm pretty much going to go and check out the sequel, The Secret of Nim 2, which, so far from what I'm hearing, like, this is definitely bad, but some people are saying, like, it's just bad, and some, are, some, some others are saying that it's absolutely horrendous. So, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. My curiosity is pretty much peaked to the point that, you know what, let's just try this out, we'll see how it goes. But, um, you know, I always wanted to go back to Thorn Valley. I want to see, like, you know, the Rats of Nim and stuff like that. But, you know, a part of me just says, it's like, then why don't I just check out the first Secret of Nim? I don't know. I'm starting to have regrets already, but I'm already at the point of no return. So, screw it. Let's just go ahead and do this. So, let me just go and set up. All right, there we go. Now, let us begin this movie in three, two... One, go. Yeah, and it's brought to us by MGM, which might probably be the best thing in this. I don't know. All right. Let's see how quickly am I going to regret making this decision. I don't know. Oh. Oh, the original Secret of Nim. Well, what do you know? Okay. Okay. Did he really say that? I don't remember that in this movie. Wait, what? Okay, whoa, I don't remember that part. <laughs> Nick, I don't remember Nicodemus saying that part. Wait a minute. Okay, I, I appreciate this little, like, you know, this little, like, um, you know, look back into the first movie, but I don't remember him saying that the son is, like, some kind of prophet. I don't know. Oh, my lord. I'm already regretting this already. Actually, I think I'm gonna take it back. I don't think it's a good idea that you show us clips of the first movie because now we can immediately tell, like, the comparisons between the quality of the first movie and now look at this. Yeesh. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know. Cage? Okay, what? Huh. 
All right, well, that was easy. You know, by the distance that they were at, like, they could have seen the rats escape. Did Nicodemus even chose you? I don't get it. Like, I don't remember this part. You can't just invent this, you know. A slingshot? Why sling? What? You know, so far, I'm actually feeling nothing of the secret of Nim in this. There's no mist. You know, there's none of the mystical things. There's nothing that I feel like what's going on feels real. You know, nothing. It's like <laughs> I'm not feeling the the secret of Nim thing going on. Going on. It makes no sense. It's just, I don't know. It just feels more like your, you know, your typical talking mouse movie. Oh my god, it's Jeremy. Oh my god, Mrs. Brisby. Oh my god, Auntie Shrew. Oh my god. Man, the the lip sync is awful. Like the the like the animators did no sort of effort to to do any sort of animation on the lip sync. It's just it's crap. That's the one thing I start to notice. It's like, yeesh. Yeah, and so was Mrs. Brisby. <laughs> you did the same, don't you remember? You gotta remember that, Mrs. Brisby. You also contributed something big. <laughs> it's not just freaking Timmy. Should I, and also, should I really be surprised if Dom DeLuise decided to reprise his role as Jeremy? I don't know, like... But then again, should I blame him for... Well, I'm not gonna blame the voice actors if they want to go back to their animated roles, you know? Like, yeah, at least he's kind of a trooper. I'm not gonna blame Dom DeLuise. If anything, if, if, if Jeremy does something really stupid, I'm just gonna blame the writers. All right, Timmy's gone. So, can we go back with the adventures with Mrs. Brisby? No, he didn't. Stop saying that. Nicodemus didn't foretell this. Why the sudden mood swing with Martin? I don't get it. Like, he seems supportive at first. I mean, like, he gave him the frickin' slingshot.
But now it's like he's acting like a little pissy head. Seriously? Like, I don't get it. Pissy head. What? Where did that come from? I have no idea. Wait. Okay, no. Okay, it's not what I think it is. Okay, no. Wow! They're cutting corn! Wow! Wow, everybody's so welcoming. They're expecting this? Really? Did, did the strawberries poop? Did it make it just a fart? No. Oh, no. 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 Oh no. Is this really a musical? Why? Oh my god. Is this. Oh no. Is this 90 syndrome? Did it get a random like 90 syndrome? Oh my god. It's the 1990s. Might as well make it a musical. And it's animation, so it kind of has to. Por que? Por que? And the song is even stupid, for God's sakes. Why? Did Timmy just suddenly go into an American tale? Because, like, at the pace and, like, the tone they're going, I'm expecting Fievel to come out somewhere. Seriously. What the heck? What the heck? What? Oh, my God. Agnes, no! No, wait, no, it's, no, not Agnes, Mr. Is it Mr. Aegis? Yeah, I think it's Mr. Aegis. Oh, jeez. Justin, no! Justin, don't sing, please! Don't join them! <laughs> We're only expecting the best you can. You know, no, no worries. We're only expecting the best. That's why we're putting so much freaking pressure on you. Like, seriously. Why, why are they putting so much pressure on freaking Timmy? Like, he, there's no point. And it's all based on this one freaking lot. Like, I would like to know, who really said that Timmy is a prophet? Because I doubt that it's freaking Nicodemus. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Aegis. There you go. Thank you. There are far too many fart noises than there should ever be. In fact, there should be no fart noises in a Secret of Nim movie. Period.
What destiny? What are you guys talking about? There is no destiny. Nobody- What? What do you mean nobody does? You're supposed to know, you're putting- I mean, like, you're, you're all celebrating his grand return, you know he's gonna do great things, but you don't know what? That makes no freaking sense. But everyone- but just wondering, did everyone else know that Jonathan Brisby was going to be, like, this superhero? Did everybody put in all that much pressure on him, too? Like, w when they suddenly became intelligent? I don't know. Why do we suddenly have this goofy-looking cost snake? You know, you know, the thing is, is that, like, they're, like, they're trying to make Timmy so important. They're trying to make him, like, you know, the old, the almighty great one. But, you know, I'm just watching this. He's just annoying. Like, I don't care about Timmy. They're trying so hard to make him, like, we need to like this character. But I don't give two craps about this freaking Timmy. Seriously. What did he do in the first movie anyways? Like, was he... Timmy's, Timmy's the one that was supposed to die, wasn't he? I don't know. If he really is, then, like... I'm, I, like, I'm starting to have doubts on the first movie, then. <laughs> Mrs. Brisby, you have no purpose to go on that kind of adventure, then. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. You can. Oh my god. Again? Got another dumb one? Got another dumb music musical number? Oh my god. Yeah. Really? Like, your mom did- like, your mom didn't tell you about, like, how he is as a person? Really? Just, like, the hero a aspect? That's kind of dumb. Oh, God. The kid- oh, God, eesh. The kid- the kid can't sing, I'm sorry. Kid's no singer. Good God. And even the song, even the song itself, it sounds like some kind of kid would make up. Yeah, this is the kind of like really generic dumb song that any kid would make up. Like, I'm gonna be super great. What? He grew older? How long has it been, really? Yeesh. They got a bit of a better singer, but the song is still awful. By the way, I actually, cre I actually just created a brand new drinking game. You watch this movie, Every time that they mention, like, not only by name, but 
the every time they would they would mention Jonathan Brisby, take a shot. That's the game. But then again, maybe that's one of those illegal games that could end up killing people. I don't know. I can do it. Oh. All you have to do is put your lips together and then you come real close. Or blow, depending on which reference you would like to take. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say, like, you're not ready to be a hero? I mean, like, what did you do in the beginning? What the hell? You can't just suddenly, oh, let's just, like, oh, you're gonna be great, you're gonna be amazing, and then suddenly, no, 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 you're not ready yet. Is it because he's a teenager, and teenagers get nothing but respect like this? I don't know. Is that dragon? Did they bring back dragon? All right, why are you important? I don't care who you are as much as Timmy. That's a dog. Yeah, that's a dog. Okay, it is a dog. Okay, so it's not dragon. That garbage can is actually more intense than this scene itself. Seriously. So she's a rat of Nim, basically. She can't just come out of nowhere and be like a talking animal. Espe like, where did she buy it? Okay. If she's from somewhere else, where did she get that sw that sweatshirt? That should be a better question. And that bow tie, too. She's got to be a rat of Nim. <laughs> okay, that sounds so stupid. <laughs> Justin, she can read! Wow! What? Oh. Well, I guess it's an... Okay, I guess it's kind of a legitimate explanation to give them credit, but... Still, it's just... <laughs> I don't know.
I don't think anybody knows a lot of things. They think Timmy is going to be great, but they decided to put their hopes... Where the fridge did you come from? I think I got the wrong movie. I think we suddenly switched it to something else. Where did you come from? Seriously. What is this? Is that the cat version of the uh, Andy Dick Lion in Lion King 2? I don't know. It has that same anatomy and same kind of detail. I don't know. That That's all he reminds me of is the Andy Dick Lion. Yeah, some lip sync you got there. Yeesh. So, what does that scene have to do with anything? I have no idea, seriously. Seriously, what the fridge was that about with the cats? I don't get it. Oy vey. Did you forget to write? What was the question anyways? I don't get it. And no, this is not because I wasn't listening. It's like legit. It's like, what was the question? I don't get it. Wait, why is uh, Timmy a part of the prisoner? Seriously. You're the one who's trapped. Timmy is the one Timmy is like supposed to be the hero apparently. But apparently that 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 thing is just dropped immediately. By Southwest? I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Mar Martin's, uh, Martin's gone, by the way. I don't know how he's gone. Well, that's kind of, uh, sporadic. Like, uh, did, did we have a scene where that happens? No cutaways to him there? Instead of cutting away to that, like, random cat moment? Get your priorities together, movie, seriously. I know I shouldn't be expecting much from Secret of Nim 2, but seriously, like, if there is a lot of effort put into the Secret of Nim 1... There should be at least some kind of effort put into the sequel. Seriously.
Yeah, that's not conspicuous. Oh, uh, where did they go? <laughs> that push trash can is just moving around for some reason. From God! <laughs> Which I guess God here is Jonathan Brisby. I was about to say Nicodemus, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Eh, I've seen better views, honestly. Wow, such slow animation. Real, wow, uh... What? Things are just happening now, and I just don't really understand. Um, is that a Mad Hatter worm? Are they trying to do, like, a romance thing, like, out of the blue? I have no idea. That that just seems, like, random, honestly. There's no, there's no indication how there should be a romance between the two, other than the fact that it's a boy and a girl. So, you know, put boy plus girl equals a lot of hormones. Yep, that definitely is a uh, Mad Hatter worm. Okay, well, it's starting to look a bit like the first Secret of Nim, so it's something. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Who are you supposed to be? Where do you come from? Okay, Cecil, wh where did you get, like, those shoot? where did you get your clothing? The- the Rats of Nim, I understand. But this... You're in the wrong movie. Seriously. Like, maybe if you want to try to, like, combine some Alice in Wonderland's characters, like the Caterpillar and the Mad Hatter, but... I have no idea. You're not supposed to be here trying to ask for money. Like, trying to make a get-rich-quick scream on the Great Owl! Which, at this point, I don't know if he's alive. Oh my lord, they got Eric Idle. So, they're supposed to be the servants? Uh... Okay! Well, at least there's a purpose to this scene. Like, now we know Eric Idle is in this! 
Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're not gonna fool us, Dom DeLuise. I know it's freaking you. <laughs> really, yeah. Nice work, Jeremy. You're not really, uh, convincing that much, you know. Now it just looks like they're recycling animation from the first movie. Which honestly, it could be the best- This could be the best idea, because honestly, the, like, if you want to take talent from the first people, please do so. It would immediately make things better. What? No, no Congo musical numbers. Please, no Congo musical numbers. Oh, great. Now we got a Congo musical number. Great. Uh... I hope they explain why specifically that, like, the great owl is not there. I don't know. And they're dead. <laughs> or plastic. There's credit cards in Nim. Uh... Okay, would you stop bringing in, like, this romance thing? It makes no sense. Okay, well, now we're entering a, into a different movie. This is... Yeah, this is now a different movie in its entirety. What's going on now? What the fridge? This is called the secret of okay, the secret of Nim. Okay, that's what, okay. Did it just suddenly go insane, or I have no idea. Is it? I'm sure. Is this supposed to be like a different movie or something? They, they cannot go into this and think like, oh, let's go and make a Secret of Nim sequel. <laughs> and give it an I Wanna Be Like You ending, of course. Holy crap, did, um, did the caterpillar grow or did Jeremy shrunk? Seriously. Yeah, okay, now I'm starting to see they might be taking some animations from the first movie with Jeremy, okay. And that's probably the best thing. Well, I already said that, but still, like, yeesh. 
By the way, can they explain a bit to uh, what actually happened to the Great Owl? Like, is he just not there because? Is he dead? Or uh, Can we have an explanation to what happened with the Great Owl? Please. And apparently it's turned into a dark castle. I don't care. Actually, Cecil, you go in. <laughs> You're a perfect experiment for for Nim, actually. We have no care for you, so go right ahead. <laughs> You're always welcome to Nim. Hey, by the way, this just reminds me. Whatever happened to Jer to uh, Jeremy's uh, girlfriend? You know, like, at the end of the first Secret of Nim, he meets a girl. Like, that was a big thing. Like, whatever happened to her? <laughs> like, did they suddenly forgot? Did she turn into Cecil? I have freaking no clue. But then again, is continuity really a thing in this? They can't keep their continuity in their freaking own movie. <laughs> and apparently just make up things like apparently Timmy is a prophet. Because... Okay, we got army rats. Wow! They're huge! They're not really that big, really. They look like your size. Yeah, what a way to hide yourself, man. They always hide in the area that they can easily be found. It's just like, why even bother hiding? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, good question. What made you decide that? <laughs> Seriously, like, why did you suddenly... Okay, let's go. Seriously, you can't just... Can you explain? Seriously, it's just... You can't just think this immediately. <laughs> we need some explanations. Oy vey. Really, was there a point? So, really, was there a point to see how the cats were captured and turned into zo into like these mindless slaves? It makes no sense. Like, we don't need that much explanation. Seriously, it's 
The focus is in the wrong places. Why didn't you just fully eat it? Why did you stop? What? That? We should have just swallowed him whole. Seriously. Eat freaking Timmy. Please. That would make him actually useful. Oh my god, really? Why? Oh, great. Uh. Okay. Oh, great. So, who are you, Eric Idle? What? What? <laughs> Why? No, good question. <laughs> Why did you so Why? Why did you suddenly become this? What's going on? Oh, great. We got... We got a musical number. Oh, my God. I don't think even Eric Idle can improve anything. Oh, good God. I don't know. If Eric Idle somehow do something miraculous with this, I don't know. Oh, baby. What the fridge? What the fridge? Wow, I take back what I said. <laughs> this is actually entertaining. Not good, but everything's going insane. <laughs> Holy crap. Eric Idle knows how to make this entertaining. Oh my god, I feel... I, Eric Idle, I am never doubting you again. Holy crap. <laughs> what the fridge? Oh my god. What the fridge? The movie just snapped for some reason. Oh my god. God. <laughs> I would have probably forgave this movie if everything like this is as insane as this. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. All right, he's dead. <laughs> wow. That is... That's actually... Wow. The, legit, the movie just snapped. It's just amazing. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
We need more Eric Idle in this, seriously. I think a lot more movies would definitely improve if we just throw in Eric Idle, just be insane. This is beautiful. Oh my god, suddenly the enjoyability of this movie just suddenly increased tenfold. Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> man, this is just insane, man. <laughs> oh my god! Really? Aww. Oh. Oh, now they got- aw, oh, this sucks. Now they gotta go back to the regular bad things, like to the regular stuff that just sucks about this movie, but wow. <laughs> Well, just like, I think the movie might be worth it for just that little scene with Eric Idle alone. It's just, wow. My god. <laughs> uh, you can't make a sad scene right now. We just went through some crazy things, man. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> I'm still trying to recuperate... From the madness that I endured. <laughs> like, oh my god. I think I'm going to put that song on my iPod. Seriously. <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's surprising how there is that. Like, if it were done by any other person, that villain song, it would have been, like, you know, as bad as this. As bad as what you're listening now. But, like, put on Eric Idol, make him go crazy. It's just great. Oh my god. Uh, my god. But seriously, like, how did Martin just suddenly decided, like, I'm the villain now? It makes no sense. My god. And it's just, it, it really does feel sporadic. They barely even mention Martin. Like, only, like, the few things, like, the letter that came out of the blue. It's just everything like this is just... Everything about this movie is just so out of the blue, like... I knew I should have expected something when they brought up the fact that Nic Nicodemus is like... Oh, he foretold that apparently a son is going to save us all. I don't know. Or actually, new rule to the drinking game that I previously mentioned. Okay, now every time the word hero is brought up, take a shot. That That's a better idea. Really? Um... What the? Really? That's what the key is for? No, I would like- actually, I would like to know, did- did the caterpillar suddenly become intelligent as well? Like, where did he fit into this? I mean, like, they explain very well how the rats became intelligent. How did that freaking caterpillar suddenly... I don't know. Or how did the cats become, uh... How did these cats become, like, intelligent, actually? Like, how did they talk and stuff like that? There's no way he has that good of a name, seriously. Or even have the strength for like a little pebble thing to suddenly hit a button and actually push it.
Nish. No, you only have one set of hands. You got six feet. Unless you decide to put your hands in your shoes. I have no idea. You're, you're, you're only making the things up at this point. And the cats are dead. Oh, no, wait. He has... He has four hands. Wait. Oh, he has four hands. So, he's still technically incorrect. He doesn't have six. What? Stop adding romance things with this girl. Seriously. Seriously, like, calm your hormones. Because that's a woman doesn't mean you have to immediately... Okay, let's let's put in a romance plot into it. Seriously. Like, what, what you're doing with her is bad writing 101. Hurt. <laughs> That's for being so evil, really? Is that an actual line? Yeesh. I know the writing really is bad here, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. When did Justin say that? You'd ex what? You know, would they really fall for that considering that, like, you know, Timmy sounds absolutely nothing like, uh, Godforsaken Eric Idle? I don't know. By the way, is this done yet? Seriously, how many more? Ten minutes of this. Oh my god. It's already feeling long, I swear to god. You know the weirdest thing is that it's not even been an hour, and already I feel like I have more than enough. It's just deesh. By the way, like, is nobody really gonna question how is the caterpillar talking or something like that? I don't know. And fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not, it's not really as exciting, so like, at this point, I'm just waiting. We done yet? But you're still not a hero yet. Just saying. (laughs) 
Just go. No. 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 Just add that random thing, of course. Uh, whatever. Uh... Real, um, you're following your heart, really? <laughs> Is your heart in the frickin' fire? Like, you don't need to add that stupid piece of suspense. Wait, what? You're a mice moose mouse? Uh, where did you walk out of? <laughs> like, how did you get through all this? Seriously. <laughs> like, honestly, at that pace, I wouldn't be surprised, like, Timmy would do nothing and then suddenly Martin would just walk right out of nowhere. And by the way, you're heading to the complete wrong direction. I don't know why you're suddenly going there. Like, you could have just brought in the rope. And go to the elevator and just get the fridge out. Hi, babe. Can this be done, please? Alright, well that's going to have a lot of explanations. You know, I, I suddenly forgot that this also involves humans, so... I would like to see how they would react to this random craziness of how the scientists suddenly became dogs. And yes, have Jeremy in because... Well, I mean, like, we would get the hint when you brought in freaking Cecil, you know? And how did Cecil get in on his own? Seriously, that makes no sense. Like, it, w it would only make sense if Jeremy suddenly bring in Cecil. It just makes no sense. No reprise, please! If you're gonna have a reprise just with the crazy Eric Idle song, seriously. Yay, flowers. Ew. You don't have to and s what the hell? Hey, Martin, is he still Eric Idle, or, uh, I would like to see, like, what happens now. What, did they give him, like, uh, a lobotomy? Wow, he's not even Eric Idle anymore. Are, are you- did, are, is your mouth moving without, like... There is no prophecy of Nicodemus! Stop saying that! Nicodemus did not prophesize any crap with frickin' Timmy! Jonathan Brisby and son. Yeah... Dad, you're my favorite hero. 
Oh my god, finally it's over. Thank you. Jeez. And it's only been an hour. Jeez. Seriously? Okay. Now, I'm not gonna lie about this. Now, to be very honest, this is not the worst movie that I've seen. Like, I know, especially considering for this in general, I have seen a lot worse, but wow. Like, I just feel like they're just making things up the whole way through. I mean, like, I'm even doubting that I want to say that, like, they haven't seen the movie. They must have if they use clips in the first movie, like, in the beginning of the film. But, like, everything feels like they're just making things up. Like, suddenly, oh, Nicodemus foretold that Timmy is a prophet. Uh, then suddenly, oh, Martin's now the villain for some reason because he has these sudden sporadic mood swings. And just like, oh, and then suddenly, oh, Justin and the rats of Nim suddenly decide, oh, let's go save them. We decided to change our mind. It's like, th it's, this is just a series of things that sporadically happen with no explanation. And especially the fact that, you know, you add in the these like, extra characters like talking cats and like this random Cecil the caterpillar which makes no sense it's like okay they explained how the rats became intelligent but they didn't explain like the freaking cats or the godforsaken caterpillar who who's like who dresses up like the mad hatter and you know like honestly if it were its own thing like if it were it's a, an original piece of animation it's it would be like yeah it's a bad movie but it wouldn't be as bad as it is, because as a Secret of Nim sequel, it is absolutely stupid. There is no sense of connection whatsoever. There's no continuity, and like things just happen all of a sudden. So it's it's more the factor that this is a horrendous Secret of Nim sequel, more so than it is that this is just a bad movie as it is. Because like when you put it into context. This really is a stupid, stupid kids movie, but, like, this is a horrendous Secret of Nim sequel. Especially the fact that, like, the tone is different, they suddenly make it a musical, they had things that just don't make sense. And now, hold on a second, if you excuse me, let me just, uh, yeah, I gotta go back and, uh, make things better for myself. I need to recuperate. <sighs> Always stick with the original, folks.